Hello, fourth graders. So we are going to be doing these readers. It's part of our social studies curriculum, and I'm super excited because there's so many awesome things that happen in our social studies for our fourth grade year. It's in fact all about California and the history of California, so where we live. But I want to get you acquainted with the digital version of your um, reading, so go ahead and follow along with me. Now, do notice anytime there are words, you can click on them, and it is going Geography to... Geography of California by Lisa Greathouse and Ted Foss. Read it to you, so you can either follow along or read it yourself, and then you can open it just like a book by either clicking on this arrow on the side, it'll just appear, or you can come down here to click next or back to go back. Another poor, uh, important feature is you can come here for a page preview and notice all of that if you click on that certain page. So we'll go to page four and it'll bring you to that. Now, you'll realize you won't see the whole page, so you do need to click this page preview off and it will disappear. You have here, again, any reading. Geography is a science. People who study geography. So it will go through all the reading for you if you choose to do so. Now there are inserts of information, so you do need to read these important boxes as well. Again, they will read them to you. Up here in settings, it can auto read or give you text highlighting. So if you want the text to be highlighted as they're reading, you can go ahead and do that as well. A couple other things I'd like to point out that you might find useful, just know anytime you click on something, you do have to put it back and click on it again. So click on it, click on it again for it to reappear or disappear, vice versa. Clicking at this toggling screens down here, you have the table of contents that brings you to the back of the book. You have this that will bring you to, sorry, the front of the book. The back of the book has your glossary and index um, I love the glossary because anytime you have those bolded words in your text throughout your reading, this will help you if you don't know what confluence means. Then you can come to that confluence, bolded word the point and look in the mean, glossary such as bodies of water. to see what it means. So pretty awesome. Then you have activities that you will do, not this time around in this book, but you will have vocabulary, comprehension, writing. These could vary depending on the activities, but you will have the opportunity to do those at a later time. Anytime there's activities, it will direct you to that page. Um, okay, you can search for a word, you can go ahead and zoom into things, and then just up here you can go to full screen, Again, if you don't want it in full screen, this time it's not, you've made it disappear, so instead you're going to show the top toolbar and then it's back and you can take it off of full screen again. Then here are some interact interactivities and it's just going to show you things that you could have clicked on throughout the reading, but you can also go here to click on a video that would show. So for example, it will show you where it is, the video of Big Sur, when we get there tomorrow, actually. Uh, you will be look, looking at that video. So, I hope this gets you acquainted with the text. I hope you enjoy it. And here's to learning about our great golden state of California.